Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Montana Lifestyles Podcast. My name is Tim Lee. I'm hanging out with Neil and Gretchen Swift. And folks, let me tell you something. This show is so much fun, especially because you get to meet old friends and hang out with people. Have you guys oh, been seeing anyone, any old friends around oh yet? Oh my gosh, yes we have. Yeah? Old friends, old customers, love it, love it. I so, think what's fun that way is when you, when you start working for their kids. Oh, I mean, yeah, like yeah, Johnson yeah. Madison, we've been around a few years now, and you know, you start working for their kids and uh, seeing their grandkids and all that, and that's what we like about this show. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. What I like is I like your your building, and you guys can look at me. You don't have to look at the camera. It's okay either way. Okay. Unless you like doing that little no, stare I don't like at that. the camera, mm -hmm. yeah, it's up no. to you. Either way, uh, but <laughs> I, I'm I'm jealous of your building. You guys got a cool place over there. So floors and more Abbey carpets, huh? Yes. And now, tell me, you say you've been around with, like uh, like Johnson Madison. How long have you guys been around? Well, since the 90s, you know, early awesome. 90s. 90. Yeah. 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 1990. Yeah. yeah. How, I have to ask, I know you two are a married couple. But can you tell me how y'all met? I have to ask. I have to ask. How we met? Well, I was laying floors in Helena, Montana, at yeah. the St. Peter's Hospital, and Wound up meeting Gretchen and Helena. You saw his plumber's crack, and it was all downhill from there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Then eventually we came to Great Falls, you know. So, yeah, yeah it's worked out good. Very cool. So, so you started in Helena, and then you came here. What made you make the jump, out of curiosity? Well, I don't know. We just wanted to work for ourselves. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, we, we enjoyed working for other people, and we met a lot of nice people working for other people, but... When it came time to open our own business, Great Falls worked out the best for us. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, making that leap and deciding to be your own people. Right. What an experience. Oh, yeah. Now, now obviously, in 2023, that's a scary thing, period. But what was it like in 1990? Well, everything is the biggest thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's getting yep. married, having kids, you know. Uh, Leaving a steady job to open yeah. your own stuff. I mean, uh, you just got to work it out and uh, um, enjoy what you do is probably the key. Yeah. yeah. And you're asking about how 2023 is coming out? Well, I, well, I'll, let me ask you about this, though. I am curious about okay. this. How'd 2020 go? 2020 went good for us. We were able to stay open because we good. were necessary. Good. And, uh, no, it went really well for yeah. us. Um we were able to do some commercial jobs because mm -hmm. they were forced to be closed and yep. we had people who were stuck at home and they wanted to change their flooring. They were tired of it. The thing I've noticed is that for the trades and the industries, COVID really didn't touch many of them except if the employees got sick and, and folks were right. out of work. But yeah. when it came to the industries and that side of thing, the trade side, you guys were fairly good. We were. We it were was. able to stay open and just keep routine that's awesome yeah. that's awesome and then so um how's how has the season been now obviously a lot of other companies and businesses they're feeling that they're we're finally coming out of this whole mess and things are getting right. back to normal do, do, do you guys have that feeling as well in any way or is it still kind oh, of oh yeah oh yeah the yeah. freight and everything has just yeah. gotten so much better uh you can get materials in like you used to be able to before yeah. covid so no yeah it's good and you know the hard part about that is for a lot of industries We've always been really good at getting material. Yeah. I mean, flooring was a two-week wait yep. when it was good, and it went three and a half weeks during COVID, yep. you know, maybe four. four and months. we felt worse about it than other people because plumbing, cabinets, they were already know, waiting a lot for all of that as it was. Stuff oh, yeah. and lumber got, got way out there. So yeah. we felt bad, but if we probably wouldn't have said nothing, <laughs> nobody would have <laughs> even <laughs> noticed. We are like, you guys are the king still, you know. That's awesome. Flooring has got has been around a while, and it's got some pretty set yeah. display, display chains, and yep. uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So what about the economy right now? Because you hear of all the wonderful economy mess that, that does scare a lot of people away from the opportunity to upgrade their home and make decisions like that. How are you guys feeling right now? You know, actually, um, the last recession we had, people were kind of unable to move Yep. Uh, because they just couldn't afford it. And so they stayed and fixed up their home knowing that they were going to be in there. I love it. Yeah, so they totally. made it what they wanted it to be. I love it. Yeah. That, I mean, that's and that's the point. You know, we hear of all the stereotypes yeah. of what everyone says is going on, the doom and the gloom and all that sort of stuff. Take a look at what's actually happening behind right. the scenes. Yeah. I mean, that's the cruel cool part. It is. I think it, in like 2000, 
2008 when you know things were tough. Mm -hmm. I quit listening to the news because I was so busy <laughs> oh, at work. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm like, well, evidently they're they're broadcasting from another area. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> we we've always morphed and been busy. Yeah. Commercial, new, remodel, and that changes with the interest rates right. or the this or the that. And in uh, 30 years, I mean, we've just been through cycles. So. Yep. We've been very blessed yeah, over the years. Yeah. Very blessed. We've got great customers, great people here mm. in Great Falls. And yeah, we've just been very blessed. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, how long have you two been married? 38 years. Uh, yeah. Honey, I need to get some notes from these guys. I want to go yeah. for that long at least. Yeah. So <laughs> That's incredible. Well, I love hearing about all that, uh, everything that you guys succeed in. And, and please, continue to be that role model because there's so many people just like you who are going I'm I want to maybe make the leap to be a self-employed individual right. but maybe I'm too scared to make the leap and and you guys you took the plunge and you took that plunge together I mean how crazy yep. and awesome is that yeah yep. I mean that that had Very to good. be an experience in itself totally totally yeah yeah, yeah. well I, when she first came on I says hey honey this is how I used to do that and the first thing she said was well, you're not doing it anymore. Uh -uh. Man, I tell you, that was the secret right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've learned it comes down to listening to your better half. Right. It seems like that's the, that's kind of the best way to go when it comes to a good long marriage. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, we're fortunate. We work well together. He has his portion, and I have my portion, mm -hmm. and it just works out well. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Is there is there something that's in season right now, per se? Because, you know, all these, all these styles and fashions, they go in and out in every sort of ways. What are you finding people are looking for? right now right now people are looking for hard surface mm -hmm. laminate or vinyl click mm -hmm. together planks or glued down hard surface it's just easier to take care of than the yep. carpets in the main area um, so yeah that's kind of the trend right now carpet in the bedrooms yep nice to get up with some soft carpet on your feet oh. I've learned that the hard yeah. way <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. a little chilly on the tootsies yeah right. yeah so right. carpet uh, no carpet in the bathrooms anymore, huh? Oh, yeah, no. No, no. that's it. I haven't done nope. that one in a while. <laughs> Long yeah. Time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I still have found some carpet toilet seats, but I haven't seen carpet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I want some, but not all yeah. of it, okay? Yeah. That's right. So, that's right. Well, that's great. Let's get everyone in touch with how they can get in touch with you. I see 406 761 7820. Right. Yeah. And we're at 920 First Avenue North in downtown Great Falls. Any, any websites or social medias or anything of that nature? Nature. We do have the website. Got a website? Yeah. Yep. And and I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking. Well, I do see an email at least here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Floorsandmoremt.com. So simple. Yeah. Floorsandmoremt.com. Yeah. Just go and check it out. And let me tell you something. I got a cool location too. I like your building. That place is cool. Oh, so thank you. Uh, thanks. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I deeply well, appreciate it. You. you two are yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well. So I've always seen you around town. Now, now you bring him with you. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. She's well, making you look good. She is. That's been looking. for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, folks, we are brought to you by Johnson Madison Lumber. We deeply appreciate them. They supported the podcast from day one, which is amazing. Humongous thanks to them. Also, Treasure State Lifestyles Montana Magazine, Miss Hope Good herself. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because of uh, what she does, we're able to be here as well. And I want to cover one more detail. Hope specifically really, really wanted you guys here because of some of the things that you're also doing around our community. Did I hear cancer survivor? I am. Please tell me a little bit about that. I, and I know we're jumping off here. Oh, no, yeah, tell you're me a little fine. bit about that, please. Um, let's see, in 2014, I had breast cancer. 2020, I had uterine cancer, and I'm currently doing lung cancer. But doing good, <sighs> doing good. And well, and, and it, it's a lifelong, lifelong struggle. Yeah, but yeah, some people get blessed with a lifelong struggle, I guess. It sounds like yeah. you're handling it okay, though. I am. That's great. I am. What would you... Um, what advice would you give to someone else who just found out? I think my advice is just keep doing what you're doing. Keep yourself busy. Keep a positive attitude. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. And keep in contact with your doctors. And yeah, and Smetton does a very good job. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. It's amazing how, and I want to make this very clear, it's amazing how much your brain truly does affect your body. Right. When you get in that negative thought, that yep. negative mindset, it truly does. Yeah, Hope can tell you that too. Yeah. It's a fact. It's it is. a fact. Yeah. And I know you two work together. And uh, is it on like uh, some boards or things like that? What do, What do you guys do? Oh, I, let's see. We do the Lions Club. We've done the Lions for, gosh, probably thirty plus, 30 years. plus no. years. We do the Elks, yeah. the Does. 
Um, and we volunteer for different stuff around That's town. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So would you say that finding some of that positivity in your life is doing some of those uh, oh, volunteers? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Some of us get selfish and lock ourselves away and kind of forget that actually being around other people can sometimes assist in that slightly. Totally. Yeah. yeah, that's a big it's deal. It's important. Yeah, going out and being, being with other people, helping them out, do stuff. Yep. So let me ask you a question, sir. What advice would you give to the married individuals or family members that find out that someone in their life is dealing with it? How do you handle it? Well, you know what? If you make it 30 plus years, You've had some, uh, some changes in your life anyway, and, and you know new things and all that. And as long as you work on stuff together and be there for each other, yep. you know that's about what you can do because there's no guarantees. Right. And uh, I don't know. We're just working through it together. Yep. Yeah. Neil's been a great support. I feel like the third that's wheel okay. in this whole situation here. Yeah, They're giving each other the <laughs> eyes. This, I should just like go ahead and like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, you're doing a great job. Yeah. 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 You guys are incredible. I hope that someone else who's going through a time of trouble gets to see this. Uh, I've learned that if I can talk about you as individuals right. and share your hearts, you'll sell, sell more product than you'll ever sell yeah. trying to do a commercial. Because the fact is, people are getting tired of doing things the big box way. Yeah. They're looking for people like us. Yeah. So if I can share your heart, your story, and oh, what a story, then what better? And look at this. You know you want to deal with these people. So, All right, folks, we got more coming your way here on the podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is the amazing Neil and Gretchen Swift over there at Floors and More Abbey Carpets. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.